We're back. We're going to talk to Makoto. It's a bunch of expo ex exposition. She started going on a rant about the, basically doing exactly what she told me, and then she started getting technical. Are you ready? I will begin our, I will begin our exploration. Think back to your time at Borussia Cit Citadel. You needn't focus on a specific memory, if that helps. All right. Just promise me you'll be careful in there. Duty! The Boja Incident. It's Boja Citadel, right? At least I think it is. Was, was everything so disordered when you tested before? Your recollection of this place appears grossly incomplete. I can but assume your memory is being warped by your subconscious. Well, I'd rather not stand around laboring over details. Let's look for the transmission tower at the Principalia. Anything of import uh, would have been stored there. Did you see that? A material base, a military base appeared out of thin air. Or out of my mind, I suppose. Did it appear because he mentioned the principality, I wonder? When the world, the world, it just ends. You have to think back, Sid. Where did this road lead? This all seems to be absurd. Recalling the Citadel shouldn't be so difficult. Remember where the Imperial troops were headed? Not specifically, no, but they were on edge. Something to do with the Academy's research. By recalling the landscape. Remember the blue of the cobblestone streets? Now the occasional military installation would have looked looked like any other city. Wait, I remember. Done it, Sid. The road has returned. Should be able to reach the Principality if we keep heading north. Look, there's the transmission tower. Damn it all, the road is cut off again. Come on, Sid, we have to remember. Sorry, Eskos. Try as I might, my mind is drawing to blank. Maybe there's something something around here that might jog my memory. A psychological stimulus to prompt recollection. Yes, that might work. Find the smoldering remains of magic tech armor. No doubt left after a fierce battle. Find a pile of well-worn blades and shields, though not of Imperial design.
Weapons and magic had come around. Right, the fighting had already started, and I was... I was... Well done, Sid. Let us press onward. All well, starting to come back to me now. Tension in the air is palpable. All right, the soldiers are on high alert that day. The Baltimore resistance was infiltrated the Citadel to stop the Academy's experiments. For Boja! Do you suppose it's possible we can tamper with the memories? Curious question. Why not believe what's investigating? Shall we? I see. Memory appears to be mending itself. Interesting. Altering memories is easier said than done, it seems. Well, let's keep going. Know the prize for your instruction. Here we are, the Prince Pallia. Inside is the transmission tower. Ah! When the seven hells are these? Could they be manifestations of your subconscious? If they, they, they seek to suppress your memories of the Citadel, meaning they're intended to purge us from your mind. You cannot let them. There's no end to him. Let's hold on. Let's... Let's they succeed in erasing us from Sid's mind. Here's that we could defeat these, but not the soldiers earlier. Perhaps, perhaps because they are not truly part of this memory? We can worry about that later. Come on, we was nearly to the tower. It's a little further. I'm actually reading all this from the chat because I can't quite do it while it's popping on the screen because it's not up there long enough. This is the music from um, the prelude cinematic, which shows the Battle against Lu with Louis Swa and uh, Bahamut. Bahamut! This has to be another attempt at your subconscious to stop us. Please, you have to pull yourself together. Are you sure I'm not suffering from a sudden onset of psychosis?
Ah, can't move. You seem to be having an adverse effect on Sid's psyche. Quickly, yes, it goes. We have to stop it. Thank you. I feel better. Perhaps now your subconscious will be more forthcoming with the truth of this memory. Is that Sid? Do you recall this happening? Father was so angry that day. Father, please, if you would just look over the estata. Enough, damn you. The next time you question me, this shall be the last. Now leave. You of all people should understand the risk. Why do you refuse to see reason? It's rather unlike him to overlook data, no matter the source. Look here, you are, I mean, you left behind this documentation. Pick up the research documents and find page after page of meticulous calculations and observational data on Dalamud. Young Sid posits that the lesser moon may very well possess the ability to harness and manipulate sun power. Older power. Whoever the vast stores of energy has amassed over the millennia, should, should they be released, would far exceed any parameters the transmission tower may have been designed to withstand. By the gods, this data, the Empire would invite a calamity. So many sleepless nights spent in 
in those damn papers, all for nothing. If my suspicions are correct, then it was he, then he was already. Um, never mind. Let us press on. The truth awaits. There they are, the replicas of Gun Hitler's blades. The gun blade. Know your place, Welp. The media project cannot, will not be stopped. Certainly not by the likes of you. No, this is wrong. Emperor Solus could have been here. No, please, Ferris, no! Sid, you mustn't forget, this is only a memory. Sid Garland, bringer of ruin, herald of ash, your father must be proud. How does it feel to know such calamity follows in your wake, that your failings bring death to all you hold dear? And now you will set this filth against me. Very well. But one fate awaits those who pose the will of the Empire. This trauma is too much. He's lost control. But this memory is false, as a ghost. Perhaps we can alter it with the echo. Think of your truest friends. It was always your greatest strength, instilling in others the courage to rise up, courage to fight for what's right.
You dare to fight me? Yes. on Tancred. We'll mount your heads on my wall. Nice. I got a little, a little choked up there. Thought about my truest friends and, <laughs> and all the people I've been traveling with didn't first appear. isn't right either Emperor Lord Varus he wasn't there the Academy he was given full charge of the project though these events are as you remember them is not the truth entirely whoever this is your mind has been trying to protect you from them
Well, it isn't Varys, and who in the hells is it? What could I possibly have to hide from myself? Though it was you who pulled the trigger, father. Sid, look his eyes. No, can't be. If contact with Dalamud was, a was able to stir Bahamut to consciousness, then's the reason the Dreadworm discovered a way to link to the tower and thereby enslave your father. In which case, there was nothing that could have been done for him. There was no arguing or reasoning with such individuals. It was only the will of the primal. And if Muhammad was controlling your father at the time of the incident, accident. Then all likelihood wasn't an accident. And so the truth finally comes to light. Muhammad's thrall, and no one was the wiser, not even uh, your own son. Yeah, crazy bastards did it. Since Makoto's described the inscriptions to me, I'll have those weapons forged in no time. On behalf of the Bojan resistance, you have my th deepest thanks. You supposed to be at a deeper voice in my side. I'm just glad I could help. Ever since that fateful day, the truth of what befell our loved ones had eluded us. I held the Empire until your father, responsible for their part of the tragedy, and for many years that hatred was all that kept me going. Indeed, I was blinded by that hatred, so much so that even you appear, appeared to me as an enemy. I could not see the blood, sweat, and tears you have poured into be better in the lives of those seeking freedom from the Empire. I can see only a guardian, but for that, I am sorry. If you can forgive me, let us be allies, united, but against a common foe. Come now, I am the one who should, should apologize for you. After all, my father and the Empire did, even if not all of them, from by their own volition, their crimes will never be forgotten. And hazard even victory over the Empire wouldn't be enough to ease such pain. And even now, I know the truth again behind the Boja incident. All that it's done is done is make me question the choices that led me here to this moment. But regardless of the past, we have to keep pushing forward, one step at a time, for freedom. Yes, as the heroes of Eld would have done. We Borgians grow up 
On such tales, a peer, peerless warrior is pure of heart and unwavering in their conviction. Yet here we are, though full of doubt and uncertainty. Will we ever earn our pa place in the pages of history? Sure, Bar Sajin. You, we live long enough, perhaps we'll, we're the ones to pen them. Ah, ha, ha. Hooray. Say the crystal focus is no longer responsive. It would appear that stores of ether resided within it have been depleted. I did not expect our exploration of your mind to be such a taxing endeavor. Once I identify its etheric affinity and a power source with a compliant energy frequency, I am confident that its reserves can be replenished. I thought, I thought perhaps the Alliance, Alliance could use it to extract information from some of their less cooperative guardian captives, but nothing's ever that easy, is it? I'm afraid atheology is beyond the scope of my expertise, so I leave the rest to you. If you need anything, don't hesitate to call for me. Thank you for your help, Master Sid. Well, I better head back. I have a mountain of work awaiting me. Uh, uh, before you go... I... If you ever feel lost, you can always talk to me. Of course. If I run into any ether related problems, we were first to know. Here's the thing it's, I think Mokoto actually has the hots for uh, Sid. And I don't think Sid is realizing that. Right, or uh, I must get back to work in, on the Crystal Focus. Right. Everything is at last in place to begin work on the weapons for Quentin Gunhilder's guard. Master Garot, Garot will be able to apprise you of any further progress in the project. In the meantime, you'll begin preparations for battle. I look forward to seeing you on the front lines. So this does two things. Uh, tune to all the Ethernet shards, and the Domino Enclave will now unlock Gengos as an Ethernet destination. So basically it did. Meanwhile, at Valenin in Dalmasca... As far as the Gangos encampment, have confirmed work on the Blades of Gunhilda is underway. Hmm. They are welcome to them. Who would need such trinkets when the Lady of Blades will soon be mine? 
will soon be in play. We'll proceed as planned, and our forces reach Boja. We know what what must be done. Understood. The empire is fated to fall. It fall, but in its place, a new nation shall rise, grander and mightier than anything the Guardians would ever be, could ever have dreamed. Ooh, he is a traitor. And it shall be made possible by the very power that they abhor. On the edge of memory. Save the Queen. Chapter the First. Keep it unlocked. Sidception. Uh, let's talk to Geralt. Or Geralt. Uh, you're here. Good. Ready to get working on the resistance weapons, lad? Please note that upon completion of the quest, uh, quest fire in the forge, you will receive a resistance weapon for a monk. You're doing it for a monk. You like the name resistance weapon? It crossed my mind to... I don't know why I'm doing that type of sort of accident. It crossed my mind to, to call him a good head of those blades, but after talking with the Basilia, uh, we figured it would be too confusing, seeing as uh, also the name of the Queen's God. Any road. Uh, your timing couldn't be better. Before we get to work in earnest, I was hoping you'd tell, tell me a bit more about what went in Sidney's noggin. I heard a fair bit from Makoto, but I'd like to know, know if you saw any different. Exposition. Hmm, sounds like it was right to, t to ask you before sitting to work. Seems to me that these fancy markings in the webs are mainly for show. I can copy them, I. That, that won't be enough. Like as not, they were carved into the hilts as well. To make sure the, the spell can take hold, we need to finish, finish with fine powder that's conductive to, uh, conductive to ether. With a material like that, I reckon we could consult the alchemists of Radzahan. I could only think of one person that has close contacts there. Arena. Aye, the demoness of coin. Not to worry, lad. It just so happens you've been keeping a steady shipment of supplies here on contract. You say you need the powder for the resistance, but might be that we can fit it with costs. He ain't usually one to do business for charity, I know, but it's worth a try. We'll see what getting in touch with her, and after I do, you can go and meet her and figure out the rest. Well, you don't expect me to go and meet her, do you? Working on their resistance weapon, keeping it so busy by half, and Drake here, or, I mean, uh, what's your name again? Zlatan, Miss Master Geralt. My name is Zlatan. More importantly, what if Master Serena doesn't agree to a charitable contribution to our cause? I'm sure if you're you and Bal Osalgin asked her nicely, she might come around, but never mind that, important work to do. As for where to find Marina, well, before you left Congo, she said she'd be stopping over in Kugane if, on business. How's about I have you meet her at the Amico Tea House? You're lucky, a nice cup of tea will bring her mood. I was wondering when you'd show up, Geralt told me everything. I 
And lucky for you, my business here here was at the Savonarian Consulate. There you are. Here you are. There should be enough powder for you and these for one of those resistance weapons for forging. Mm. We got to hand it to Geralt, since he spends half his time getting deeper in debt, the other half avoiding payment. By Mammy, though, thanks to his scheming, a little, I have a little more leverage over the resistance, and by extension, him as well. Pass along a message to Geralt and Bad Sergeant for me, won't you? If they require more material for these weapons, I'm sure they're happy to supply them. For a fee, of course. Same goes to you. I know your adventuring types are always looking to be prepared for any sorts of counter, so I'm thinking of forging another of those res resistance weapons. I expect you are. You know where to go. I'll see to it my girls in Reverend's Toll and Idleshire keep their stock sh shelves stocked until, until next time. <laughs> Shrek. All right. I can go directly to Gongos. Hold on. Wandering Dramaturge has something. I forgot what this gives me. This is a, I'm pretty sure this is an unlock, though. Oh, it's a trial. Weapon's nearly finished. This ghost just needs a nice coating of that powder to find, finish the inscription. Well, of course she bloody found what, she, what we needed. At least I, I'd hate fattening her purse for another man's coin. At least not. Now we could do our part for the resistance. So she gives it to us for free. Mainly so. Lore wise it's like hey. If you can show that you can make a weapon using this. Then it probably means that you're going to have to pay for more. You know it's. Here's here's a sample. Here's the thing is, if it doesn't work, then but this is also Geralt. Yeah, this is my time fuss. Feast your eyes on one of my finest works to date. Best of all, the inscription's exact as your ether. All right, find weapon to, to rally the Bolshevians. Samsara. I reckon getting Hilda would be proud. I shall behold the glory of the fable blades born anew. Hope is not yet lost. I did that with the wrong accent. One of days work for your old lad, Geralt. I'm going to say Geralt and Geralt. It, it, just go with it. Of course, this is only the beginning. Your skills would come out of truly a sight to behold, Master Geralt. And to see Asagos wielding one of the... The holy blades, thus it is, as if it stands, I stand before one of the heroes of Eld. When the time comes to do battle with the Empire, our brother in arms will look upon you and no courage. 
on behalf of the Bolshin Resistance, I offer you my humblest thanks for your aid thus far. I'd love to, to start fresh in another weapon, but I had to, to use every last morsel of the powder in that one. Meanwhile, we'll find ourselves indebted uh, further to Mrs. Rowena for we to acquire more. Let's consult Basaldrin before we proceed further. Looks like you're talking a short break, eh? Then we'll find yourselves wanting for another weapon. Though, come and speak with me, help her, help her here. I think I've earned myself a nice big flag and rail tonight to uh, celebrate the fortune, of course. Yeah, I suppose. A repeatable quest is now now available from Zlatan at Gangos. This quest may be accepted to accepted to create resistance weapons for other jobs. Be sure you have changed your desired job before speaking to Zlatan. Furthermore, the Venerian scale powder can now be purchased from uh, these places. Sadly, not better than the the weapon I have equipped. It is 485. Well, I currently have a, a weapon that is 510. So, I need to do upgrades. Okay. A oh, mender. Does Gengos not have repairs? Also, uh, okay, I can see why. All right. Let's just make sure my weapon looks like it. Okay, so I figured it out. In order to get go to to the next upgrade step, I have to uh, that was something. I need to complete a different and the next part of the thing. So
I had to do another part of uh, the main story quest in order to get to the next part. So, what I want to do here? Oh, that's. Um. All right, now what I'm looking for. Hey, okay. I was lied to. Put a ribbon stole. We'll grab one more resistance weapon. Then I'll need 2,000 to get for the, the other two. Here's the thing is. I've stuck to these four jobs, combat jobs, and that's uh, just to keep with the roles, which is the monk, uh, gunbreaker, astrologian, and uh, red mage. I'm not going to put that much effort in the other ones. Here it is. The veneer and scale powder. So one, two, three, four, all I need. I don't have enough to get in that. Get a third one, so. I'll just have to do things that give me poetics. Down goes. Now. This should be an upgrade. Uh, you wish to afford another resistance weapon? We do have a surplus of materials for the first, but there still remains a matter of the powder. When we first resolved to undertake the forgery of these weapons, we understood that it would come at considerable cost, but there is no exaggeration to say that a single weapon would greatly test our coffers. It shames me to ask this of you after you have done so much for our cause, but might you, we prevail upon you to procure the powder on our behalf? Hopefully acquiring the means to barter, barter with ad or additional powder soon be a two tasks a task, or a worldly adventure such as yourself. Uh, don't worry about it. I already got it. Excellent. I will have Master Groth set to work at once.
I need Norolina's pockets again. <sighs> Better your coin than the bunch inside, but I suppose if you're sure about this, we'll get to finish your weapon. Some of me best work if I do say so myself. Tail Keeper! If what you learned about the blades are going to heal their strew, then you'd make them stronger depending on what matter or monster you felled with them. It would hold true for yours as well. But once you put her through her paces, come back and I'll see you about toughening her up. You do, do, do. Oh, I went to my inventory. We are. All right, back to Monk. I believe it goes without saying our operation will falter if not for your aid. Pray you stay safe out there, uh, Blade. When small, the resistance is counting on you. Uh, that's not what I wanted to talk to. Supplier, locksmith, appraiser, airship pilot. I forgot who I talked to to actually go into Boja. Oh, that's right. I can't get to the next part until I complete uh, the next part of the the uh, MSQ. So I'm currently locked to this, but I at least have my resistance weapons. So 
that's a start. But today, I don't want to continue with this. What other thing could I do? I did see some in my journal. It's kind of like a bit here. Can you do this? Welcome, Let's see the baby muscles warm up, shall we? Pick up the pace, soldier! These ain't even the small fry. Let's get your blood put by a pack of ravenous beasties. Hey, Captain. Hey, what's up? Like your wet nose maelstrom puffs, are you? Oh, you're yeah, in for a treat. The sirens are here. You're much of a challenge, Roswin. Inferno. Got anything like Disco Inferno?
Well, that's an adventure after me own heart. That lust for blood. Oh, it sets me skin to tingle. Come on, boys. Or girls. I mean, you could be women. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at your uh, naughty bits. Carvelane. That's the debate. Sirens already. Why, Relson? We'll guess have a time. To Hmm. Seeing my waste in my coin. Pretty well, this case is yours, be in your way. Did you just try a range attack against a melee? You know, since Rossenthal left you, you Barracuda's been shit. Anyways. Oh. I just stored Commander Re Riki. Uh, the, the, well, I was going to like give you a salute, but if you're going to attack me first. All right, who's next? Wait, is that? Enzar Slofferson? Hey, aren't you Elagos' hubby? Oh. No hard feelings. I'm going to beat the crap out of you.
Hey, hey, they're there. It's okay. Uh, come for it. Okay, big guy. The ghost won't think any less than you. Actually, he probably did this too, didn't he? I mean, this is kind of a maelstrom thing, right? Well thought. Me happy would have the pleasure of facing me one day. Bah. Seems like ages since I felt this alive. Back to Limsa. Hey, this will be a short episode. Since I'm not doing a MSQ today, I might do it tomorrow. I'm still off tomorrow. I don't have to be a work till two. Four day week. I need to do some other things. But I'm not working on my birthday at all in any way, shape, or form. Okay, right. Abe says. You missed yesterday's uh, party with uh, uh, Josh Pangor and uh, uh, AJ, the uh, World Bear Weekend Pop World Pet. It was twenty twenty one. Then um, missed out. It was fun. It's nice, relaxing, just playing a little Jackbox board back. Well, how is it? Did you give them elites a hiding of their lives or what? Come on, out with it. Patience, lad. All of Limsa will know the tale ere long. As a sight to be old, and much as I will say, Asagosa's comrades carved their way through beasts and men like a cutter through a swell. Not even the visit from the sirens and the krakens could slow them down. Peace. Ah, pirates turned up at, at the drill. When the seven hells did they want? Why do you do their civic duty, of course? They, they invited themselves as members of the Black Sails unit. Would you be forget? Give him forgetting, but the pirate powers are still bound to the maelstrom by the Galadian Accord. Of course, they never deign to take part in our exercises, and we've long since stopped asking. As for why they chose to grace this one, I reckon word got out that the Warrior of Light would be facing our finest they fancied to go themselves. I saw no reason to deny them. Ha <laughs> a minute! I wanted to see, see them old cutthroats could still hold their own in the fight. I'm begging your pardon, Chief, but are, are you all right? You look a bit sore. Don't tell me you. Uh, I deemed it good for morale. I did not come here to speak of that. This goes. The Maelstrom is grateful for your participation. May we count on you. Count and count you a friend till sea swallows all. Hey, okay, gentlemen. God, he's such a handsome guy. Ah, I stowed away in a ferry if I knew that the chief would be fighting. Seeing you in action must have woken the spirit of the golden age in him. Though, I doubt he's as spry now as he was back then. Hope you didn't give him too bad of a beating. Legends like Miss Beard never get old. But the chief, well, he's just a man. Ah, but let's not keep this little chat between ourselves. Good to see you again, Esagos. Thanks for helping out the chief. All right, that's my birthday streaming. That's it. Uh, I can do this because it's my birthday. I can do whatever I want. There. Yeah. Anyways, I got me two with the two resistance weapons. Even though one of them I can't quite use that because I've got a better <laughs> crafted gear is better. But uh, maybe I'll eventually start raising them up a little bit. Gotta work on the. But there you have it. Well, have a good day.
as my mom would always say, have a good day, be a good boy. Love you.